In this video, we will talk about salivary glands, treatment of salivary glands, salivary gland infection and home remedies. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when we upload new videos daily. People of all ages, including newborn babies, can develop salivary gland infections. They are especially common in older adults and people with chronic illnesses. People get salivary gland infections when the bacteria or viruses get into the salivary glands, which are a group of glands in the head and neck. Salivary gland infections are commonly developed in the two main glands, which are located in the front of the ear, the parotid gland, and under the chin, the submandibular gland. Salivary gland infection, also called sialadenitis, can cause a blockage in the saliva ducts due to inflammation. This can lead to pain, tenderness, and swelling. Types of salivary gland infection. 1. Parotid glands. These are the two large glands. One is located in each cheek over the jaw in front of the ears. Inflammation of one or more of these glands is called parotitis, or parotiditis. 2. Submandibular glands. These two glands are located just under both sides of the lower jaw and carry saliva up to the floor of the mouth under the tongue. 3. Sublingual glands. These two glands are located just under the frontmost area of the floor of the mouth. These salivary glands empty saliva into the mouth thereby helping the saliva to enter the mouth through ducts that open into the mouth in different places. Causes of salivary gland infections. Viral infections, such as mumps, often affect the salivary glands. Mumps most often involves the parotid salivary gland. A salivary gland infection occurs when bacteria or viruses infect a gland that produces saliva. People can get a salivary gland infection due to the following causes. 1. A reduced flow of saliva due to medical conditions, such as dry mouth. 2. Poor oral hygiene which increases the growth of bacteria, such as Staphylococcus aureus or Haemophilus influenzae. 3. Blockage in their salivary glands due to a tumor, abscess, or salivary gland stone. 4. Severe dehydration, which may be due to illness or surgery. 5. Blockages in the salivary glands which causes inflammation those making the glands more vulnerable. 6. Low amounts of water in the body, most often while in the hospital. 7. Smoking. 8. Chronic illness. 9. Autoimmune diseases. Some of the common viruses known to be the cause of salivary gland infections are 1. HIV, mumps, para-influenza Most salivary gland infections are acute or develop suddenly. Infections related to obstructions or narrowed tubes may develop over time. Acute salivary gland infections rarely cause additional complications. The specific symptoms of a salivary gland infection may differ between people and will depend on their location and severity. Most of the symptoms of salivary gland infections only last around a week, though some minor swelling may linger for a few weeks. The symptoms and causes to affected parts such the head or neck. 1. Pain. 2. Skin redness. 3. Gradual swelling around the area. 4. Tenderness. 5. Pus in the mouth. 6. Fever. People with tumors that cause obstructions may develop a hard, firm, immobile lump in the affected area. When to seek medical attention if the symptoms are 1. Very severe. 2. Interfere with eating, drinking, swallowing, or breathing.
are very painful. 3. Last longer than 2 weeks. 4. Don't get better with natural remedies, such as hydration and good oral hygiene. Salivary glands symptoms. 1. Abnormal tastes, foul tastes. 2. Decreased ability to open the mouth. 4. Fever. 5. Mouth or facial, squeezing, pain, especially when eating. 6. Redness over the side of the face or the upper neck. 7. Swelling of the face, such as ears, below the jaw, or on the floor of the mouth. Treatment for salivary glands infection. 1. Practice good oral hygiene. Brush your teeth and floss well at least twice a day. This may help with healing and prevent an infection from spreading. 2. Rinse your mouth with warm salt water rinses, 1 half teaspoon or 3 grams of salt in 1 cup or 240 milliliters of water, to ease pain and keep the mouth moist. 3. To speed up healing, stop smoking if you are a smoker. 4. Drink lots of water and use sugar-free lemon drops to increase the flow of saliva and reduce swelling. 5. Massaging the gland with heat. 6. Using warm compresses on the inflamed gland. Home remedies for salivary gland infection. Apart from medications, there is a variety of home remedies which can help the body clear salivary gland infections. 1. Suck of sugarless lozenges or sour hard candy to encourage the production of saliva. 2. Consume sour foods and drinks that promote the production of saliva, such as lemonade, pickles, or sauerkraut. 3. Apply a warm compress to the affected area for 10 to 15 minutes several times daily. 4. Boost the fluid intake to treat dehydration. 5. Massaging the impacted area several times daily if caused by obstruction to encourage the flow of saliva. There might be possible complications of salivary gland infection such as 1. Return of infection 2. Spread of infection, cellulitis, Ludwig angina 3. Abscess of salivary gland Risk factors for salivary gland infections. 1. Being over the age of 65 or a newborn, recent surgery, radiation therapy or chemotherapy of the mouth. 2. Head, or neck, diabetes mellitus, lymph node infections, anorexia, kidney failure. 3. Dehydration, breathing through the mouth too much, malnutrition, sedatives. 4. Anti-Parkinson medications 5. Being immunosuppressed. How to prevent salivary gland infection. In many cases, there are no specific ways to prevent salivary gland infections entirely. However, a few lifestyle tips may help reduce the risk of infections forming. 1. By getting a dental cleaning every six months. 2. Chewing on sugarless gum or suck on sugarless hard candies. 3. Limiting alcohol intake. 4. Avoiding tobacco products. 5. Eating foods in small bites to encourage saliva production. 6. By staying hydrated and sipping on fluids throughout the day. 7. Brushing the teeth two times daily. 8. Rinsing out the mouth with water after eating or drinking sweetened or carbonated drinks or foods. When to consult a medical doctor if you have, 1. High fever. 2. Trouble breathing. 3. Swallowing problems. 4. Prevention. Warning, none of the information on our videos is a substitute for a diagnosis and treatment by your health professional.